at the Standing Committee for Industry and Technology. For the purpose of context, I would like to provide you with a brief background. I am the chief I am the President and Chief Operating Officer of an oil field service company established in 1996, a second generation family owned company. I also come from a farming family and we have two beautiful daughters that are fourth generation on the family farm. The oil and gas sector as well as family has been as well as farming has been the heart and soul of not only our family but as also a majority of Albertans, Saskatchewans and Manitobans. My business works closely with Canada's world-class energy sector and is proud to do so as president and COO of a business that helps industry improve areas of reasonable quality and safety, I can attest to the high standards already enforced in, the, in Canada's oil and gas industry. Yet we have our Canadian government who fails to support our industry, which is not allowing us to succeed to our fullest potential. We choose to ship oil across our oceans and support countries like Saudi Arabia. According to International Merchants and Trade Database, Canada imports from Saudi Arabia approximately $1.5 billion in 2020 and 3.5 met million metric tons in 2021. Saudi Arabia does not ethically produce oil and has little to no human rights with no regards to the environment. Where in Canada we have created a safety industry around the care and protection of our industry leader, leading workers. Let's first look into our own industry. Let's first look to our own industry and support our own country, our support our own citizens and our own economy. Every day we see innovations brought forward by Canadian energy producers and just how important they are to the economic and social fabric of Western Canada. Hardworking men and women focus on delivering the world's safest ethical, sourced, and environmentally friendly petroleum products. It is deeply important that we recognize the power that people have to invoke change in our society and understand that we all have the vast, vastly different experiences. This is what makes Canada great. Canada produces less than 1.5% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Of that, Canada's oil industry produces about zero, 0.3% 0 of all greenhouse gas emissions. Let me be clear. My family and I have a great love for the outdoors and a great aspiration for, clean, for a clean environment. It is very important that we protect it. I care about the decisions that are being made by the Canadian government, but by adding red tape by... Um, by adding red tape and buying fossil fuels from countries that do not take the same environmental protections as we do. We are supporting unsafe and environmentally damaging practices. Bill C-235, in its own form, I fear will effectively harm the resource industry even further in Canada and rob the world of the energy securities it so desperately needs. These policies have also had a frightening disability on a Western democracy in Europe making them vulnerable to Russia. We will still need oil and gas for the foreseeable future. With the, with the invasion of Ukraine and holding Europe as hostage to Russian energy, it has become clear that the world needs more clean, green Canadian energy. We need to be self-sustainable and be able to rely on our own resources and our own infrastructure. We do not want to fall victim to energy insecurities the same way Europe has. Canada has low-cost green energy solutions to prevent the current energy crisis. Alberta and our Western neighbours have been doing the greening of the economy already. We have solar and wind farms. Carmen Capture Trunk Lines produces the cleanest oil and gas in the world. We have, to, we have the largest coal reserves in the world for the making of clean, efficient coal gasification in making of syngas. Entrepreneurs and provinces do not need federal interference on how to run our industry. We all want the best for our environment and generations to come. But drowning us and this generation and futures in inflation and red tape 
is not how we prosper and promote innovation in our economic success. Bill C-235, again, is another step by our government to kill an industry that would be needed well into the future, whether you want to hear that or not. Wind energy and solar and electric cars still depend on fossil fuels. Canadian entrepreneurs are the best equipped to solve these problems. Not only does this bill fail to recognize the leaders in this field, but do nothing but hold those innovations back. So I will leave you with this. We are shipping oil across our oceans when it is unnecessary, considering the abundance of our own resources. We are shipping 500,000 barrels a day up the St. Lawrence River to Quebec refineries. Instead of using pipelines and building more pipelines that are far more superior for the environment. So I ask you, why are we continuing to fixate on the West? I strongly believe that if this government truly understood our resource, resources and, our being, and how they are being produced in the West, you will have a different outlook. I encourage you and I invite you to come and understand the truth about Canadian energy. Bill C-23 seems to be a classic federal overreach trying to dictate and influence these three Western provinces. In simple terms, the federal government needs to step back. We are already a leader. We need to start promoting it. We need to start educating the people on the importance of our world-class industry. So let's start recognizing and supporting the world's greenest, safest, ethically produced oil right here in Canada. Thank you very much. What I'd like to make is my friend from the block was talking about oil is oil. And I'd love to hear uh, Justine Ness's comment on that because I don't believe oil is oil. I believe Canadian oil is more ethically produced, more environmentally, produ more environmentally friendly produced. And I believe our oil is better for our Canadian people because it actually then gets that money back into our economy. So I'd like to have a comment from Justine about oil is oil. Thank you. I absolutely agree. Uh, supporting our local economy, our Canadian economy, over sourcing it from outside, trucking it in, shipping it in, um, is obviously the much better choice in keeping our um, local industry thriving as opposed to uh, sourcing it from outside. So I do believe that it is a cleaner source to provide it within and support our own country as opposed to bringing it from across the seas. Thank you very much, and I couldn't agree more. I think if you'd follow the environmental footprint of oil that's brought from Saudi Arabia or, or Russia or other jurisdictions into Canada, I think that environmental footprint and carbon footprint would far outpace anything that's done in Saskatchewan with good Canadian environmental standards. Plus, our workers are treated much better, and we'll always stand up for the hardworking men and women in the oil and gas sector. As a Conservative, that's something we are very proud of. Um, MP, MP Carr stated in the last meeting, and I quote, we failed continuously to align in aligning our political interests to the real interests of prairie folk, end quote. But now we are studying this bill and, it, and he wants even more to give more power to the political interests in Ottawa. <coughs> Do you think that the political interests in Ottawa of this bill align with the interests of prairie folk? And I can start with, I guess, Ms. Ness. I do not. And why? Um, I feel that, uh, you know, especially for the oil and gas industry, we're constantly under scrutiny and um, it's, it's getting tiring. So we just, we need to be able to run our industry and do what we do best. Um, if a piece of legislation that only impacts the Prairie Provinces does not have the support of, from any of the provincial governments, do you think Parliament should pass it? And I'll go through the Justin or Ms. Ness, uh, Ms. Brownley. No, agreed. Mr. Orb. No, I don't believe so. Mr. Bewick. No, I don't believe so either. Thank you. Do you think um, you know in Manitoba, uh, you know as. Um, do you believe that uh, the Prairie Provinces can actually build their own green economy without interference from Ottawa? We already are. Can you, can you expand on that? 
Um, we have policy and procedure in place for you could if you go to the tank terminals, you can eat a sandwich off the off of a pipeline. It's clean. We take pride in our terminals and our pipelines. We take care of them. It's our infrastructure. Ness, in your opening statement, you said that uh, wind and solar injury, energy needed the oil sector. Did I understand you correctly? And if that is the case, why? So green energy still needs the oil and gas sector. What do you think lubricates your wind energy? Mais en quoi mon véhicule... But my, how, why does my electric car need oil in order to go? A uh, solar panel, uh, does it need oil to function? And the same thing with the wind turbine? So your wind turbines do and your electric cars do because you have moving parts that need to be lubricated, right, by oil. So you oh. still need oil and gas. Perfect. En ce sens, je Are you comfortable with the fact that your taxes and mine and that of all Quebecers and Canadians have been used to buy an uh, uh, oil by plan by the government rather than through the uh, public uh, private sector? Don't you think that the oil and gas sector should should uh, be dealing with these risks? Sorry, I kind of caught parts of that. I'm trying to listen here and then I have you here. Can you say that again, please? The purchase of Kinder Morgan by the Government of Canada is problematic because uh, it was done by the government and not by the private sector. Is it up to the government to take uh, the risks with the money of Quebecers and Canadians, take financial risk in order to purchase a pipeline? The pipeline should have never been purchased by the federal government. It should have stayed in the private sector. So, yeah. À partir de maintenant, it... As of now, what do we do? Do we sell it? and reinvest this money? Uh, would you it'd be in agreement if we would uh, put it into a fund that would be used for um, SME uh, firms in uh, Alberta or in the Alberta or in the prairies? I think that question should be directed back to Justin Trudeau and see what he thinks. On, on, on lui a... We, uh, do I have any time remaining? You have seven seconds, so I'm going to take advantage of your generosity. In the bill, we talk in 3C, we say that nuclear energy would be considered uh, as well. Are you in favor of the development of nuclear energy in the prairies? I'm, I'm in favor of all industry, so why not? Merci beaucoup. Thank you.